This is EHA Today at the European Society of Cardiology's annual meeting in London 2015. I'm Tom Lusher, Editor-in-Chief of the European Heart Journal, and I have the pleasure to talk to Professor Adam Timmis from London, who is the new editor of a new journal. Welcome, Adam. Thank you very much, Tom. So, uh, what made you start a new journal? Um, I previously was the editor of Heart for seven years, uh, and I was uh, approached by the um, ESC to ask if I'd consider uh, applying for the uh, editorship of the new journal, The Quality of Care and Clinical Outcomes, and I couldn't resist the challenge, so here I am. Very good. We're pleased to have you uh, as one of the editors of our family. So uh, what is the, the, uh, the scientific and societal need for uh, this particular field? Yeah. Well, quality of care and clinical outcomes is uh, an emerging academic uh, field uh, in cardiology and it reflects the fact uh, that we now have a whole range of treatments uh, that can uh, modify the progression of heart disease and in some cases cure yeah. uh, heart disease. So um, we've got the treatment and we've also got uh, in many countries around the world an increasing number of uh, uh, disease registries and uh, healthy registries uh, which can process large numbers of patients and answer questions that uh, hitherto have been difficult to answer. So this is a new field, we've got the uh, need for it. Uh, there's only one other journal uh, effectively uh, that is responding to this and that's the Circulation uh, right. Quality Journal and uh, we want to join them uh, to provide an outlet for research in this area. Martin Simmons, when he was a president, had this circle where you have, you know, discovery, then you have the results, and then uh, you have the implementation yep. of the guidelines. And so you're at the tail of uh, this very chain, if I may say so. That's exactly right, yeah. So we're at the, uh, we, where we want to be yes. uh, is at the implementation of care as it affects outcomes. We're interested, Tom, particularly uh, in treatments that, uh, and outcomes that improve quality of life. Yes. Uh, not merely prolong life, but right. to improve the quality of life. Right. And so, uh, what team do you have? Well, it's, it's always very important uh, running these journals to have a good uh, supportive team around you. And we've, uh, I've got an excellent uh, team, partly uh, local for the day-to-day -day work of the journal, uh, but also international, uh, so that the um, news of this new journal can be uh, spread around the world. Because I think it's important to emphasize that, like all the uh, journals in the um, EHJ family, this is an international journal uh, and we need people from around the world to support it. And today this is very easy with the net. It doesn't really matter whether you're a neighbor or in an, on another continent. Absolutely. We, um, we are running our uh, uh, fortnightly um, editorial meetings using uh, video conferencing software. Uh, no one has to travel. Um, uh, this is the, the future of uh, the, this kind of organization. Yes. So when did it start? Well, the, the first edition appeared uh, just um, uh, a few months ago in, in July. Mm -hmm. We have the next edition coming out in October. Right. But to answer your question, it started back at the beginning of the year. Right. Uh, and uh, we've, uh, the challenge of course has been to uh, increase awareness of this journal uh, so that we uh, get the kind of uh, submissions that we want. And I'm glad to say uh, that we're getting some really high quality uh, submissions now and uh, I see this journal uh, improving issue by issue over the next few months. So how many issues do you plan? Well it, this is uh, to start with this is going to be a quarterly um, journal so it'll be every three months. Uh, of course as uh, the journal builds, as uh, submissions increase, as the quality of sub uh, uh, submissions increase uh, we may well go to a more frequent um, um, uh, appearance of the uh, schedule, yeah. yeah. Um, and I would welcome that, but at the moment it's quarterly. 
And we also, you're part of the ESC family, so we plan also to transfer manuscripts that we consider most suitable for your journal. And we will remember this uh, at our editorial board meetings. And I'm looking forward to work with you and your team and uh, wish you all the best for this uh, new journal. Well, thanks very much, Tom. And let me just uh, say in response to that, that the support I've had uh, from the uh, ESC generally and from the uh, European Heart Journal has been fantastic. Thank you very much. Good to have you. Thank you.